So now I want to switch gears and talk a little bit about the new MDM capabilities, part of the new Purview catalog in the integrated SaaS solution. Um, partner, or Purview is partnering with Best of Breed MDM partners to create a near native MDM authoring experience. Right out of the gate in our, in our solution, we're partnering with three um, Best of Breed um, uh, MDM partners. One is Cludin, the other is Prophecy. And the third that's coming soon is Samarki. So all three MDM partners are working on a bi-directional integration with Purview. What this really means is that, and in simplest way to describe this is, is that as a partner, as a first-class integration partner, we can, I would say for lack of a better word, integrate or export data out of the Purview catalog and the metadata out of the catalog and, and push them into these MDM partners. And then the reverse is also true. If you if you curate your MDM entities in Clued in Prophecy and Samarki, you can then subsequently then publish that information back in the catalog to avoid all the what would be the equivalent of a duplicate data entry otherwise. And so what we want to show you today is that integration. We're going to start first. I'm going to show you two halves of integration. I'm going to show you the integration first from um, from Prophecy into uh, purview, and then we're going to reverse that from um, purview then into clued in. Again, both partners go both ways. But I just wanted to do this for the speed of the demo. So let's start first here with this custom masterless um, data, pro uh, data product. And I want everyone to notice here that there are six total assets, count of six. And the reason I'm saying this, because we're going to come back to this, you're going to soon see a seventh. So now what Shafik's going to do, he's going to go over now to the prophecy experience which is the native experience for Prophecy MDM users. And he's going to go to the customer master, uh, what I would call data product or MDM entity for them. And he's doing here is he's editing the asset description, which is part of the metadata that goes into, um, goes into purview. He's adding a final set of pieces of information here. He's going to hit save, which is all the information that, that there's a bunch of this information is going to get published into purview. And then after he goes after this stage, he's going to actually go back and there's a three ellipses on the right hand side for this master data product. And this is actually where the integration will basically get triggered here on this particular data asset, which has got a name, by the way, B2B or customer B2B golden asset. Um, keep track of that name because that's actually what you're going to see here in a second. And in this creation, you'll see this list on the bottom available data products. Now that is actually done from a read from Prophecy directly against the Purview APIs to go figure out what data products that this particular user has access to. It enforces RBAC uh, as you would expect to. In this case, the person has access to two of them. And what Shefik is going to do now is he's going to basically tell Prophecy which data product he wants to he basically wants to publish this asset to. You remember, data products have multiple assets. And so what we're doing right now is we're basically creating another child asset under that customer masterless data product. So Shefik, let's go ahead and do that association. Shefik's going to hit the save button here. And what that's going to do is actually here, it's going to kick off the process in the background. There's a job that basically pushes that information into purview. We're going to go back over into purview and give it a couple seconds just to make sure that uh, the asset has a chance, the job had a chance to run in the background. Because in the background, all that metadata, all that meta model information gets pushed into purview. And now he's going to jump over to the data assets section of that same data asset. And remember the one with the six, and he's going to refresh. And hopefully the demo gods will be with us. And we hit this refresh, we'll see a seventh. Sometimes it takes a couple, it might take a couple minutes for this uh, integration to work. He's going to go back to the customer masterless data product just to be safe, to make sure we get a full refresh and update the cache. And there, boom, customer B2B golden asset. So that was the example there that you saw originally in Prophecy that is now natively inside the Purview product, again, saving you the data entry and the, the heartache of having to do this twice. Okay, so now I actually want to show you the opposite direction, where we're actually now going to show a set of assets underneath this new data product going from Purview and native integration, first class integration going into the clued in master data product. And we're starting now here on this particular example here, we're starting with a different data product, just so you guys can see that it's actually got a different integration. We're starting with a commercial customer accounts asset or data product. Notice that it has seven assets. And if we ran this integration fully end to end, so both push and pull, 
and that, let's say that you're able to um, curate a data asset, let's say in a second, you would actually see that to also turn into eight assets, similar to the demo we just showed you a second ago. So with that, what Shepik's gonna do here is he's actually gonna go ahead, you can look at the assets. And so there are seven here in total. And why I'm showing you seven here is because there should be seven include in after we run this integration. So we're gonna go back to the data product and we're gonna go ahead and change the status to published. And that's an important, um, it's an important one because this is actually the trigger event for how clued in and so listening this system that knows when uh, and what to look for and what to uh, to uh, pull into uh, uh, clued in. So with that, now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to the clued in integration and what this home page or what this import page is. Oh, there it is. A few seconds ago, that thing already got detected. And so what you now when he hits refresh, we're going to see the seven assets show up. Let's see what's available here. And there you go. Commercial accounts, seven. Notice here that those are the same assets I showed you er earlier. Customer sat, dimension underscore city, and so on and so forth. So what this allows you to do now with include in is you can take these this all this meta information, metadata information, and you can use that now to create and resolve and create your master entity inside the clued in experience. Again, so what I just showed you today was both going from purview into MDM and from MDM both into purview works both the prophecy and clued in both ways. And again, the third one was Samarki coming soon. Um, and one of the, the really just first class experience here to be able to make it so MDM has become sort of a native capability when the overall integrated SaaS solution that we showed you earlier.